YouTube, selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any harsh actions or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professional. Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video with your boy Sebi G. Today, we got another unboxing review for you guys. Right here, this is a brand new device that just dropped from Yocan Technology, and it's gonna be the Jaws. Now, I haven't looked in into this at all. I literally just got this sent to me, and they really asked me straight up, they're like, yo Sebi, we're gonna send you this, we want you to test it out. If you wanna review it, go ahead and review it. We don't really care, but we have a bunch of new tech dropping, and we're gonna be sending your way, that way you could give people good reviews, all right? And honest reviews, because you know, we always keep it 100 on this channel. So without further ado, let's hop straight into the Jaws unboxing. Like I said, I have no idea what this is. Just based off of the picture that's right here on the front, I do see something like a hot knife tool, and then there's like a laser sticking out at the end. So I'm assuming that this is maybe a hot knife with a temperature reader at the end, which in my opinion, I've never never seen anything like that so I'm already excited to hop straight into this but before we do that let's go ahead and read off what's on the back yo can black jaws for concentrates has a little QR code right there that you could scan and go straight to their site and then it says ceramic hot knife infrared temperature reader real-time display so whenever you're checking your temperature I'll tell you right off the rip what the temperature is gonna be and we're gonna be putting it to use all right ladies and gentlemen so I have this one right here and then I have have my terp timer I'm gonna be checking to make sure that this actually is accurate so this one right here terp timer by octane or octave or something like that I forgot what the brand was but you guys already know that this is a pretty well-known brand in the temp reader scene so we're gonna be using that to compare to how this one is reading and aside from that simple one button design blade cap the blade length is 0.47 of an inch so not even an inch long like about less than a half inch Infrared distance, alerts, OLED display, days of battery life, 180 milliamp batteries, and then one hour of charge time, right? USB-C, of course, everything that you pretty much need. And I like, I don't know if I'm really excited to get into all of the new tech that Yoken has coming out because if it's as dope as this, that means that we're in for a treat. And you guys know me, recently the technology community and for in terms of like weed has been extremely extremely stale only people like puffco are really constantly innovating maybe dab x every once in a while but i feel like one of the main companies that are consistently coming out with new technology is yokan and they always hit it out of the ballpark when their batteries are some of the most well-known batteries and one of the most loved right so as soon as you open it you get the jaws right here a black sleek design you have the charging cable and there's really nothing more to it all right pretty basic and off the rip this feels extremely extremely light I'm liking the overall design of it it doesn't feel too bulky and then as soon as you pull that out that's where the hot knife is on this end right here and then on the other end as you guys can see right there it looks like a little camera but that's where the laser sticks out of all right ladies and gentlemen so I'm assuming five clicks goes ahead and turns this bad boy I'm gonna go ahead and read the manual real quick because whenever I click this button and it just says no resistance which I have no idea what that means so I'm gonna go ahead and give a quick read on the manual that way I'm more aware all right now I know how to use this so in order to properly use this you're gonna go ahead and click it three times that's gonna go ahead and switch you from your hot knife to your laser if you're using the hot knife you just go ahead and hold the button it's gonna go ahead and give a countdown it's gonna drop your wax in there go ahead and click it three times it's gonna go ahead and switch it to the temp reader you go ahead and click it at your banger and once it reaches your desired temperature go ahead and click it another three times switch it back to your hot knife and you're ready to go right ladies and gentlemen literally super super easy to use all right so now it's time to put this bad boy to the test so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up my banger right here and then I'm gonna first use this to read it which is the turp timer and then I'm gonna switch it over to this that way it could give us a good reading and we can actually see how much off the temperature is I right, got this banger nice and heated up now it's time to test this out let's go ahead and go in straight with the turp timer so it's currently saying that it's at 900 degrees right so if I point the little freaking stick right here let me go ahead and see what it says it's reading at currently hmm it's currently jumping up and down up and down 
but it's currently saying that it's sitting at 750 right which is a tad bit lower than the turp timer and yeah actually it might be at 750 the temperature is dropping pretty freaking low and yeah it's actually kind of accurate so i'm putting these side by side and i would say that it's maybe around 10 to 15 degrees of like temperature difference between the both and i guess i would say i mean you really don't know which one's actually working the best but i'm pretty sure that this really should do the job honestly i mean i, re I really like 10 to 15 degrees of a differential shouldn't make too much of a difference but but let's go ahead and test this one more time and see if we could actually get a more of an accurate reading temperature yeah I'm literally putting them side by side once again and it's looking extremely extremely accurate now if you put them side by side it gives a very very accurate reading you do have to give a little bit of a distance obviously and I think it says that right here on the back of the box like oh you have to give it a little bit of a distance right 1.2 inches of a distance that way it reads it properly and it does read it properly right ladies and gentlemen so now that we know that it reads temperature properly let's go ahead and heat this banger up one more time and give a little bit of an outro dab but yeah while we wait for this to cool down let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think about this device in my personal opinion I think that this is a game changer I feel like this is something that literally anybody could have thought of but no one's done it having a hot knife and a temp reader in one device device and giving it a sleek look design like this I really really like the jaws and I would give it a good 9 out of 10 at the end of the day so let's go in on this dab and give our farewells <laughs> <laughs> that right there was a the perfect temp. I did end up using the little hot knife right there at the end and it literally slid off so freaking perfectly. No residue left behind. Like I said, Final rating on this, I think I would give it a good 9 out of 10, very, very well designed, and I like it overall, right? So big shout out to Yocam Technology and their new JAWS. Let me know down in the comments below what, what device from them should I review next. At part two to this video, now that I showed you guys that dope tool in the beginning, now it's time to break into what is supposed to be one of the greatest devices that Yocam has released as of late, and that's gonna be the Phaser Max, all right? Let me go ahead and give you guys a quick little preview of how that's looking. But this pretty much is supposed to be a budget-friendly e-rig that's supposed to be a competitor to all the other ones out there right now. It's supposed to hit like a champ and it's supposed to be portable, all of that good stuff. And I'm going to be putting it to good use, all right, ladies and gentlemen. So a quick rundown of the specifications of what is inside of this device. It has a line of sight display. It has 70 sessions per charge real-time temperature 400 to 750 degrees 15 to 60 second heat modes and then it has the ergonomic silicone grip dedicated one-handed control the two times the TGT coil technology gloss flip cap and then it has water cooling dab tools RGB alerts OLED display 2.5 hour charge time and USB-C right pretty much a rundown of everything that you need in a device and you're getting this at a budget friendly cost like I said you're not gonna be breaking the bank when it comes down to Yocan technology products they're very very dope very inexpensive and you always have a good time with them they're always coming out with new tech now let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out and get straight to chief and right ladies and gentlemen so this right here is what the phaser max is looking like super dope ergonomic design this right here is your atomizer looking very very nice you could hold it in one hand five clicks goes ahead and turns it on and on the back right here let me go ahead and give you guys a quick little close-up but that right there is the OLED screen display that is gonna provide for you guys the overall battery life it's gonna provide for you the real-time temperature how many seconds it's been hitting for how many sessions you've already had on this device and all of that good stuff right and then on the bottom right here is where you have their RGB display that's gonna be turning on whenever you're taking a hit when 
whenever the coil is heating up. So pretty much all there is to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and prime this coil. I'm gonna go ahead and load this up with water and we're gonna get straight to chiefing. So my first initial thoughts on this right here, the Phaser Max, I think that it's pretty dope. It really is an ergonomic and slick device that literally just fits in with the palm of your hand right here like so. You could go ahead and switch the wattage right here just by the click of two buttons and it fires in just three clicks, all right? I believe it's actually two clicks that goes ahead and turns this on, but either way, I kind of like it, all right? An inexpensive device and that's why I kind of dig Yocan technology. They usually try to come out with new devices for the people who don't want to be breaking the bank at the end of the day. So let's go ahead and prime the coil real quick and for those of you who don't know how to prime a coil, pretty much I usually like to turn it up on the hottest setting that it possibly goes up to. I like to load it up with the smallish to medium-ish size dab and I like to run it through a full cycle maybe two and that way you could get all of the extra residue, the carcinogens, any powders or anything that are coming from the factory that you really don't want to be chiefing, right ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, I got the coil priming right now as we speak and I was able to fill it up with a decent amount of water. Now, I don't know how much this is gonna chug because I kind of did overfill it. Now, when it comes down to the Yocam products, they do have a little bit of a recommended fill line right there and you could be a little bit of a bad boy like your boy Sebi G and go ahead and go over that, but it's not recommended, right, ladies and gentlemen. So now that we got this thing filled up with water, got it nice and primed, I'm gonna fill it up with one more fat globarino and see how this bad boy is hitting and give off our official review and rating. Wow, holy crap. I was not expecting to hit that. Oh, <laughs> bro, when this thing is primed, just ready to go, right? <coughs> Legitimately, it rips. You do sacrifice a little bit of terps, even though I was kind of using on the mid-range setting. It still rips. You could still taste the terps, but bro, this thing is a chugger. That water that I filled it up with actually was the perfect amount. And this device, for it being this cheap, it's amazing, right? It's pretty well produced and well built. I like the OLED display. I like the fact that you could see the real-time temperature. I like how easy it is to use the ergonomic shape, all of that good stuff. And I think my official rating on this would probably be, have to be a good 8.5 out of 10. A good 8.5 out of 10, maybe even a 9, I don't know. But I think 8.5 at the end of the day is a good rating. Maybe the more I use it, I'll probably bump it up. I'll give you guys a little bit of a review, maybe in a couple months or so. But this bad boy right here, the Phaser Max, is a dope ass device. Now, my official thoughts on it is the fact that I wish the session kind of lasted a little bit longer, but maybe you could go ahead and adjust that in the settings. But I just really do feel like this thing for what it is, it definitely comes in clutch for just getting yourself a nice fat dab. And that's what it's good for, like giving yourself a nice quick fat dab. And that's all you're gonna really need because this thing chugs in cloud production and it really makes you feel like you're ripping a real dab out of real quartz, right, ladies and gents? So that right there was the Phaser Max. Those right there were all Yocam Black products. Amazing company doing amazing things. Let me know down in the comments below what should I review next, right, ladies and gents? If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor by leaving a fat like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and we'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video.